Hey gypsies, welcome back to my channel and happy Dollar Tree haul day. So I just got out of Dollar Tree and OMG, I was thinking you're probably not gonna find anything girl, but did I ever. Uh, my, my buggy was filled to the top and this is not everything, but this is a huge haul, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Before I get started, though, I just want to say I got to meet my wonderful subscriber. Her name was Kefir Kefira. Kefira. Oh my gosh. I knew I knew I was going to mess that name up. K-E-E-F-E-R-A. Kefira, right? Uh, I love that name. It sort of reminds me of Khaleesi from game of thrones i love that name but anyway thank you for coming up to me and introducing yourself i real that real stuff like that really makes my day it was so great to meet you i appreciate that so so much so in honor of kefira let's do this video um like i said it's a large one um but first of all let me show you all the bag i only saw one like this and let me just tell you what it reminds me of Urgh. Okay, so it is a, like a night sky cityscape. It is a full moon. Um, it reminds me of Bewitched. Totally, 100% Bewitched. Um, that's where I got it. I, well, I love cityscapes, especially nighttime cityscapes with all the lights and stuff. I love Bewitched. I love full moons. I like stars and stuff. So, like, this bag was screaming at me, take me. So, I said, okay. So anyway, yeah, let's dig in here. I got several bags. We're going to start with this one. And the thing that was trying to fall out, um, me and my son, he went to the store with me the other day. Um, it was actually Walmart and he got some, what is that green sauce? A salsa verde, I think is the name of it. And he's like, can I get some of this and get some corn chips? And I'm like, sure. So, you know, he forgot the corn chips or tortilla chips tortilla chips whatevs um so i'm like i know he didn't get those because i unpacked that stuff that day and so i thought well let me just go ahead and grab him these so he can finally eat his salsa verde these are just plain round yellow corn um i don't even know if they have a brand name they seem a little generic but they're kind of cool because they have stars all over them uh, no artificial colors or flavors, zero grams of trans fat per serving. You get a six ounce bag for $1.25. But like I said, I'm sure if I look, hold on, manufactured by Bickles Snack Foods. So there's that. Okay. I do have my receipt, but I'm really, really, really ticked off at Fetch right now. Um, I, as a matter of fact, I may look for other rewards scanning uh apps and switch because before like when when like if you used my code and scanned your receipts as a new person um you would get two thousand points and i would get two thousand points now it's a hundred points each that is not worth my time whatsoever to ask you guys to scan your stuff because you know so um keep your eyes your ears open for me to mention a new app on that because no no not doing it not doing it okay so i found some books and i'm super excited guys so this one right here is <clears throat> let me clear my throat for this one okay <clears throat> the recipe for a perfect wife do you hear the crickets yet okay it says uh, it's by Karma Brown, which I kind of like that name. Like, is this like a, you know, um, it says brilliant and timely, clever, dark, and empowering. It says number one, number one international best seller. Okay, I'm in. I'm in for a number one international bestseller, especially a recipe for a perfect wife. You know, come on. It says a thrilling story that parallels the lives of two characters who struggle with be being strong, independent women in a patriarchal world. Number one, international bestseller. Okay, I'm in. All right. Um, and then I have this one here and this one's called babysitter and it says she's perfect too perfect. Okay. This gives me lifetime movie vibes. 100% 
the babysitter come on there probably is one um it says includes a bonus novel called the affair and it's by cheryl brown and it says you trust her with your family would you trust her with your life tell me that's not a, a, a lifetime movie in a book tell me that i mean i'm not even saying they didn't make a lifetime movie based on this but if they're running out of lifetime movies boom baby right here's you one Okay, and then I found a series of books, which this is my most exciting and maybe my favorite find of the day. Um, I did not even know that these existed. Honestly, when I saw these, I thought they were the Hardy Boys or the Nancy Drew series. But these are awesome. Let me just say, they're awesome. Okay, so what they are, uh, they're called Creepers. They're Creepers, and it is Strange Things Are Happening in Creepers, and this one is called The Piano. O over 4 million copies sold worldwide. It says the melodic music from a pr priceless piano turns haunting as it begins to play itself. Um, basically, it's from the Creepers series. I'm just wondering, like, how many there's ghost rider i'm wondering how many they are in the series the golden goblets on here uh pin pals is on here piano and stage for this, uh, this is all five of them all five so yes this is geared for a younger reader but come on like i told y'all i'm 16 in my mind i like a good little creepy story not too long like a you know one afternoon read or something like that i love stuff like this these are distributed by greenbrier what that's pretty cool so anyway the piano and look at that like i bought a book by the cover you know i do that all the time look at that like they're they're glossy they just look really nice okay creepers it gives me um goosebumps vibes and then this one is called Ghost Rider. How cool do they even look? Okay, this one is called The Golden Goblet. I'm really excited. <laughs> Can you tell? This one's called Pen Pals. Ooh, Pen Pals from the Dead. And this one's called Stage Fright. They definitely give me goosebumps vibes, totally. And I'm super excited, and I'm here for that, for sure. Any day. Okay, there's that first bag. Always check out your book section, because you never know when you're going to find something fantabulous, okay? Um, now, this section right here, all this stuff, this thing right here I got for my hubby to take to work. Um, we had one a while back, and it was like this, it was a round ball. And it was like a bunch of different pieces. And once you take the ball apart, it was a puzzle. Once you take the ball apart, good luck in ever getting it back together. So I told him, because there's some smart guys down there where he works. I said, take this stuff and throw out, you know, throw it out there and say, let's see who does it first. And by George, one of them did it. And so it, it really gave him something to do. And it was just, you know, just just to break the monotony of a work day, I thought I would go ahead and grab this right here to send it. Just another puzzle. This is the Classic Games Brain Teaser. It is wooden, and I just think that's going to be perfect to send down there, and it'll give them something to do. Like, they all had a whirl with that, and it was great. I guess it was great. I wasn't there, but I'm, I'm assuming it was great. Um, so, this right here is Poster Letters. And I just got these just to kind of put back in a bin. I know that Jack, she's in third grade. So she's getting to the point where probably by, by next year, they will be doing like, um, sci what is it? Sci the science fair thing where you make a big project, poster board and all that. I just thought these right here would be really good to have for that. So what did it, and they're holographic and they're kind of glittery and come on, if my grand daughter is going to have a science fair project there's going to be glitter on it you better believe that right here right now so there's what it looks like they only have the two colors um red and or blue blue and green but i just think they're really pretty the green is not quite as bright of course you can see one back there but they are there's two different colors in here so there's like a light blue and a dark blue. You can see the light blue there. And then same thing with the green, light green, dark green. So you get 52 counts in here. And I'm just going to put it back 
and just have a special place for that kind of stuff because boom yes um i did find these right here so this is something that i had never seen before this is from oh, let me turn the heat back off i get hot thing cold hot thing cold yes the no yes the no um confetti cake batter baked cookies um baked by jennifer san lorenzo in california okay so um let's see what they look like i'm just curious like are they going to be in a bag are they individually wrapped okay so here we go oh how okay why couldn't have they just throw that eight in there come on you get two here and two here and one in each one of these would it have really killed them to throw two more in here honestly ridiculous uh they look really good let me just say they look really really good i would love to jerk them open and taste them but i'm not i'm not i'm sticking to plan baby i'm down 10 pounds now and you know the first week is always boom baby you got this eight pounds go the second week is always like are you sure girl you only lost two pounds this week i gotta stick with it for spring and summer and me I want to be able to get out there and do stuff and play at the picnics. But anyway, I did pick up two of these. Um, I don't know if it's going to be worth $1.25 for eight cookies. They're small. They're tiny. Okay, they're tiny. But it is what it is, I guess. I'm just kind of ticked because I didn't throw two more cookies in there. Like, I feel like right in the company and say, what? Why? Why? Okay, so I just got me a pack of vinyl gloves, um, 10 pack, a 10, 10 pack, which is like five uses. When I'm, ha I've been, let me just say, like, I've been cutting up a lot of chicken breasts here lately, and I don't like touching it, number one, especially if I have like something going on with one of my fingers, which it's better. So I think this evening I'm going to put on some nails. And anyway, I don't like touching the chicken. Like, I just don't. So I'm like, why don't you always wear gloves, girl? And I'm like, I don't know, girl. I, let's get some. So boom, vinyl. They just they just kind of cling to your hands better. So boom, grab those. All right, I definitely see that things are not together. Okay, here's something down the bag that can go right here. Uh, this right here I got from my hubby. You guys know I've repurchased this many times. It's the Airheads. Um, this is the Airheads gum watermelon, and it has like this micro candy center, which he absolutely loves. Guys, my hands, ignore them. Ignore them with all of your heart, okay? Try your best. Okay, and then this right here I got, if you guys remember, I got a yellow one a while back that I wanted to put in Jack's Easter thing, and then I got a bunch of dinos that I wanted to put in Ricky's. Well, for Ray, I ended up finding a narwhal because I couldn't find any more of the Easter ones. But come on, I found a pink peep, a pink peep, and I had to get that for hers. So the narwhal, I'll give to her dad or somebody. So there's that. And then I've got something else here, but I was kind of hoping to show you the other thing I got with it together. It could be in the front. It could be in the back. I don't know. Okay, guys wish list let me just say now you guys may have saw me haul these okay in um a timu haul not these but pin, pin, but peel containers ever since i saw these these has been on my list because the ones i got from timu are kind of small for our pills i know it's ridiculous but like and they're all vitamins except for my hubby hubby's blood pressure medicine um they're all vitamins so let me just tell y'all day before yesterday or was it yesterday no it was day before yesterday um my hubby came home because i have them lined out a.m and then i have some that i'm supposed to take at lunch and then i have some that i'm supposed to take when i eat dinner so he comes home the other day um he's like have you taken vitamins i said oh no i forgot he's like take them right now so I took my morning ones, I took my afternoon ones, I took my evening ones, and I chugged it all with water on an empty stomach. Let me just tell you, I've never came so close to throwing up in my entire life. I was so sick. I was so dang sick. I will never do that again. 
the, even the thoughts of vitamins really turned me off right now, but I really did it. I did it. Um, but this is so cool. Check this out. Number one, it's in this, it's in this guys, if you're a crafter, you could do something else besides, besides pills with this. Okay. Look, look at this. What? And then you have each little individual. I mean, you could use some female polish remover or something and get that off. But why would you want to get those off? Leave those on. I love this so much. So you have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I love these. Let me look. Let me open one. Let me open one. Uh, this right here, like that's everything. This is great. I love these. Oh my gosh. Yes. These are going to be, these are going to work so much better. If y'all see, listen, if you do like the diamond painting or just a crafter with little tiny things or a woodworker with all kinds of little tiny screws and stuff, I just, I can't, you just, I don't even know what to say. A dollar 25. Did you hear how that closed? A dollar twenty-five? What? I, I I I don't know. I'm obsessed right here right now. I really am. So okay, here's something else that I think is really cool, but I really have no clue what it is. But sometimes you see something and you're like, I need to get it because I feel like it's important to show everyone. I did get two of them. Um, okay, so this is fabric strips, one hundred percent cotton. It says, um, but one of the things it says on here which I think is weird. Let me show y'all. Do not wash. What? What? Does that mean don't wash them before you make something out of them? Let's open one. So what I was getting in my gist and my vibe was possibly a rag curtain, you know, a gypsy boho curtain of some type. Like I have one made with the sari ribbon, which I love. Um, but I'm like, what is, how long are these? What are these? And let's just, well, let's just, let's just see. Okay. So you get 20 pieces. Oh, okay. There's definitely some fallout up in here, but these are really awesome. Okay. So let me kind of show you the pieces. So this is like a mermaid. Then you get one red, two red. Wait a minute. What's this? We missed one. Three red. No, nope, that red has stars on it, that pink. Then you get like mermaid scales, sort of. One of those. Two of those. Okay. Let's switch over to some green trees. Green forest trees. Okay, get through those. And then we have red polka dots. A couple of those. And then, oh, that's pretty. Red hearts. Um. Oh, my favorite. Look. That's gorgeous. It looks like there's three at least of those. Okay, guys, let's hear it. Let's hear y'all's brilliant words of wisdom. What would you use them for? Okay, I got two boxes here and I have no clue, but I know they're really cute. I'd like to just shake them out really, really good, like not in my car because there's definitely some weird fallout of something. But I love the fact that they were packed bagged up like this. Look at that. He's got a little, a little bag of ripped stuff. Who, who wouldn't want a little bag of ripped stuff, right? Come on. Like that's pretty cool. Okay. I like that. All right. Ready? I got this for Fifi, but she's not as extra as me. So she'll probably tell me to stick it, but it says be a kind human. And I, anytime I think of a kind human, I always think of her. And anytime I see pretty plants, I always think of her, but I know for a fact that she will hate this with all her heart. So I may give it to Jack to, get, to hang in her room. And it's kind of a subliminal kind of message whenever she looks at it. Be a kind human girl. So yes, it comes with this little pretty little purple. I mean, it looks girls, girls rooms, roomish, right? Okay. There's that. All right. So I figured it out. Um, I got these, which I think they're cool. I've never seen these. This is the Crystal Waters. You get a two-pack, and it's lip balm. But let me just say, this lip balm is pretty darn big. It's big. Let's see. <laughs> I just got to see how big. Ow. Ow. 
see, I had a rough day yesterday. You know, I, I have rough days every now and then. And I, like, all day long. All day long. Okay? Ridiculous. All right. Let's look at the strawberry one. We won't look at both. I don't think. So, look how big this is, guys. That's huge. Cute. Let's see how it smells. Oh, on. Sealed up with some of that rubbery goo. Goop. Gooply goop, even. All right. Get off. Get off. All right. Let's see. Feels. It's like invisible. I'm like, oh, they forgot to put it in there, but it's there. Can you see? I'm touching. I don't know. Is this lip balm? What? Lip balm, strawberry scented. This is like, I don't know. Weird. It's kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about it. I guess little girls might like it. I don't know. They're weird. I mean, this is weird. Not they're they're weird. I mean, of course they're weird. They're little girls, but this is weird. This is what I'm talking about. It's weird. Okay, forget that. Next. Oh, this is an exciting find for me. Um, and I did get one for each of the girls too, because what little girl does not want a mermaid ink pen, right? And what big girl doesn't? Like I had to have one. Um, they have a lid. Let's see. Uh-huh. Lid. Looky there. Let's see what color they write. Oh, ooh, they write good. They write black. These are pretty phenomenal. They're very rubbery feeling, but they feel like really good. And like that tail, you know, you can make it go to town. See that? I love these. I love the bright, vibrant colors of this. Yes, please. I love those. Boom, baby. Love it. Okay. Had to. And then there's something else I thought was super cute. Now, I just got one of these. Um, this is a, what do they call Fidget. Like, that word fidget just ticks me off, you know? Um, it says a wristband, okay? It's a unicorn. Look at the colors. The colors are really cool. Um, and it's the poppet. I don't know why. I call them poppets. Fidgets, eh, you know. Um, but they're just cute. I just, the, uh, the colors are cute. Not for me. I know y'all thinking, girl, you're way too old for that, but yeah, it's not for me. I like the way that it snaps though. That's kind of cool. Like, see that? That's a little metal thing and you just find which hole that you need. And like if, if it were me, you know, uh, it would fit me if I wanted it to. So y'all quit fussing at me. It would fit me. I'm putting it on just because y'all fuss so much. Boom. And that's only on the second hole. So third hole, actually. Okay, ready? I thought these were gorgeous. Okay, so these are just wooden, kind of a plaque that would look good on a desk, a countertop, bookshelf, in front of books, out in the garden, um, front step. I don't know. It's beautiful. I love the looks of it. I love the pastel flowers. How adorbs. It's so pretty. Um, but this is my favorite. Oh my gosh. This one. It says, live now in this precious moment. Yes. Live now in this precious moment. Okay. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm keeping this one. This one's, this one's mine. I have to. This one. I will give away. I will give. Okay. I, I, I had to have that though. Um, and then I found a gift bag. Guys, when I saw this gift bag, I'm like, 80s. This is an 80s gift bag. Come on. Uh, it says celebrate rolling times. Celebrate. Can you hear Casey in the Sunshine Band right now? Celebrate. And you have your, your skates on. You're skating down through there. Celebrate. You know. It's time to celebrate. Yes. Yes. I can see that. I need to give this to one of my 80s girls, like a friend or something that's having a birthday. You know, here you go, baby. Remember the 80s and fill it with like all 80s stuff. Boom. If I have like close friends, I would. I love that though. Like, I just feel like it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Okay. So there's that. There's that bag. Um, and then here's a wish list find, guys. Yeah. 
Look at these. Look at these. OMG. I want to do something fun and good with these. Yes, I can do it. I know I can. Like I, if I, if I, these are so heavy duty guys. I don't, can you, the, even the handles, they're like so heavy duty. I just can't even believe it. The color is phenomenal. What is that? Like a dark mauve, a mahogany, a plum. I don't know. They're awesome. I love this. Like to hang across your banister. One on each side. Like with something. My gosh, I could put my fake flowers in here. Nobody would know. I'm going to have to. Oh, it's on. It's so on right now, guys. For us great gals here that cannot grow stuff, okay? We're going to need a couple of those um, little blocks that go in there. The styrofoam things. We're going to need a couple of those. And you're going to pick it out your favorite spring flower, okay? And we're going to set this all up. These are going to look so phenomenal. People's going to drive by and think, oh, I wish I had a green thumb like her. And I'm going to be inside peeking out, rolling. Like, <laughs> you know, it's, it's just it, okay? All right, guys. Let's go on to another, another box of goodies. Another, why do I say box? Because I see a box. Okay, wish list. Wish list. That's all it is. Wish list. Okay. I've been seeing a lot of people on these. Um, this is the Everyday Forks. These are by Greenbrier. You get 52 forks in here, honey. So I did end up getting um, two of the forks. Two of the spoons, because like we are anti-dish, you know, two spoons. And then I did honestly get one of the mixed, simply because we definitely do use our little knives. Um, a lot of times if I'm putting mayonnaise on sandwiches or something like that, I like to grab something that I can distress, you know. I know it sounds bad. I'm so sorry. But that's just how it goes. Um, but buttering a toast smearing some guacamole on your face you know whatevs like i just i got those i got them all right next let me get a drink hold on i'm talking i'm, ta I'm talking <sighs> okay let's go these are cute so i feel like they had these before but in a different brand or different packaging. But I feel like this one is name brand because it is Yamalos. And it also says find them on Facebook and Instagram. Okay. So this is Yamalos Unicorn Poop Marshmallows. And I wish I could give you like a really good view. There's one. Like here's what they look like. They definitely look like the unicorn poops. You know, and all kids like to eat the poops. You know, I don't know what it is about being a kid. You just want to eat anything poop shaped. Like, is the funniest thing on the planet. That's the joy of youth, is it not? Like, just come on, give me some poop shaped stuff. You know, make my day. But yeah, I'm trying to see, like, I, I see some blue and pink, green and yellow. But, like, give me the poop. I, that's new. I hadn't seen it. So I just got one. And then I did find another wish list. These will be probably for my son. I don't know. Um, these are the Jell-O gummies. Now, I've seen the other ones, the square ones. And I actually got um, a red one and a blue one. I, I really need to unpack some of my stuff and get things organized. But these right here were definitely in the wish list category. So, boy, any, everything in me wants to grab these out and start cramming them in. But I'm not going to, okay? Um, you get lime, blueberry, and strawberry. Lime is not one of my favorite flavors, let me just say. But I did get two of these just because. So there's those. And then we have one more bag. And I do have one more little thing sitting down here. And I'm hoping the other piece is in a bag somewhere. Okay, so let me show you all these. So this is just the scented kitchen bags, okay? You get, how many is in here? A lot, I know. Hold on. 
35. 35 bags. They also come with the little twist twisty ties, but my mother-in-law likes these for her bedroom, and they go through a lot, like a couple or three a day, so I like to get these because they're cheap, $1.25, there's a lot, $35, and they do the trick, okay, they do the job they're supposed to do, and they're colorful, okay, so I grabbed those, put those down in there, okay, this is going to be the fun bag. Okay, well, I mean, some of it, some of it. Um, number one, I got these because these, it, okay, so spring is here, okay? Spring has sprung. That means Bigfoot hunting season is getting ready to start. Can I just say that? And these headlamps, not that we don't have other headlamps, but these headlamps, just as backups and stuff like that, are fabulous. I've got one like this that's red that we got probably five years ago. It still works so good. They're very easily adjustable. They're just absolutely awesome headlamps for any job. We use them for Sasquatching, okay? We hunt Bigfoot. That's what we do. Boom. Two more lamps. Okay. Y'all's probably looking at each other thinking, what are we doing here? What is she talking about? Okay, guys. So this was on my wish list, and this is a set of brushes. And these are the Sassy and Chic, the cosmetic brushes. And I just absolutely love this set of brushes. I think they're fabulous. I did find one of every color. You have the blue. And can you see the like crystally handle of it? It's so beautiful. So there's the blue. They have the white one with the little crystallies. They have the pink one with the little crystallies. And the purple one. The purple is my favorite. Look at that. It's like that. It's like that favorite purple color of mine. Almost the fuchsia ish, but just gorgeous. So those were definitely on the wish list. And then um, I did need this. If you guys saw my um, big old, let's see, what was the name of that haul? I, can't, I think it was, I can't remember what it was, but y'all haven't even seen that video yet. Never mind. Um, I needed a shower curtain. Yeah, I needed a shower curtain, a, a clear one, because I have one to go on the outside of it, which you guys will find out later, a later date. But anyway, I needed a new clear shower curtain. I love the magnetic ones. They're perfect. And then I grabbed this right here. This is the Brush Buddies Soft. It's the Poppin' Toothbrush. Fun character head, extending toothbrush handle, and this is Leapin' Louie, and I just thought that Ricky would just absolutely love this, Leapin' Louie. Who wouldn't? I love it. And then this is something I've been very, very waiting to get excited about. They all say blush. They're not all blush. As a matter of fact, none of these are blush. Three of these are highlighters and one of these is bronzers. Now, I don't know if they make a, a blush. Let me know. Um, this color right here is very close to a blush, but they say highlighter. But I've seen a lot of people haul these, but I've not seen anybody show them what they actually look like until now. We're going in. So this one says, this one is a highlighter, illuminating highlighter from Ramel. Um, we're going to try it out. We're going to go in right here, right now. We're going to see the consistency. That's what I was wondering. You know, when everybody's showing these jelly highlighters and stuff, I'm like, is it like jelly? Like, what's the consistency of this? So it comes pre-packaged in that package. And then there's also another little easy to get off packaging. Okay. So this one is, now does this one have a specific name? Yeah. Okay. All right. It's time. There's always a time, isn't there? This one kind of matches my shirt, my TJ Maxx shirt. Y'all like? I better take this off before I end up going to Walmart with it on. Okay. So, the color, ooh, okay. This is called Poppin' Bottles. Poppin' Bottles. Let's see the consistency. Let's check this out. Let's do a swatch. Oh, and 
And it's sealed another way. Okay, I see you. I see you, Ramel. I mean, that's a good thing. It's an irritating thing right at this moment, but I'm sitting in the Walmart parking lot getting ready to go in. You know I am. You know I can't do a haul and not go to Walmart. All right. I don't even know where to put this. Like, give me this packaging back. This on my lap. Because this is a consistency, let me just say. And getting it out, getting this top part, part off is not much fun. Okay. Here we go. Y'all ready? Er, er. All right. Boom. Jelly highlighter. Popping bottles. Let's swatch it. It's a gel. It feels jellied. It feels jellied, guys. It really does. Okay, ready? See that? Okay. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to have to give me some wipes up in here. All right. There's that one. I'm not open all of them. Okay. I, basically, I wanted to see the consistency. Let me give you, let me see if I can give you the names anyway. See, the names are on the bottom, dude. Okay, let's open this one. Because this one I really want to know the name of. This one looks gorgeous. I think I will open just this one. Because I really, I've been looking really hard for a pink highlighter. And I just feel like this is a really pretty pink highlighter. I'm going to go check it out. Ah, you got to go with your inner Hulk if you have one. Apparently, mine's on vacation, but. Okay. All right. Look at this. Let me just show y'all. Look at that. Okay. She's called Shifty Shimmer. And we want to see the Shifty Shimmer. We do. We want to see her. All right, I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to get mad and go in. Mm, oh, okay. All right, let me just use that shimmer off the... Okay, ready? Ooh, I like it. Hold on, you see it? You see it? Ooh-wee! I like it. Just look at it. Man, just look at that. That's really pretty. Isn't it? Ooh. Oh, I got my thumb bleeding where I heard it a second ago. Okay, there's that. We're not going to go. I'm not going to open all four. I mean, we kind of see the consistency. Definitely jelly. Definitely some highlight up in there. So we're not going to go in on the rest, okay? But I do have other things. Number one, I got these for Ray because if you remember, I got ja I got Ricky a pair um, from Timu, and I said I'm gonna put him in his e Easter basket. Then I said no, I'm gonna put him in the picnic basket. But I just thought Ray would look so cute in these. I love these, and they look they look little. What is on that? And that looks like little watermelons and lemons, and just ready for summer. So I grabbed those for her. And then I found this. This is that La, La Merci. Merci. La Merci. I don't know. What does that say? La Merci. I think so. Uh, matte finish setting spray. Ooh. Setting spray always gives me the creeps, but I'm willing to try it once. And actually, I'm planning on doing a get ready with me. With all of those Sesame Street items, probably tomorrow. And um, I got a few items that the Sesame Street collection didn't include, um, like an eyeliner. I'm going to try, like the, uh, a foundation. I got a new foundation. I'm going to try with that as well. I got it at Walmart. Walmart? U Ulta. Um, and the uh, setting spray, why not? We'll give this a whirl too, guys. So there's that. And then here's the other two jellies, which I already showed you. Well, did I show you? Um, this one's one of the highlighters, and there's kind of the gist. It looks like a peachy color. 
And then here is the bronzer. So I don't know how I feel about a jelly bronzer. We'll see. How do you even put a jelly bronzer on is my question. And then I got these bad boys. And they was kind of in a box. Oh, rose red. And Hold on one second. Oh, it was the National Policeman's Association. I'm sorry, but I'm busy. Um, actually, these are, this is new. They were in a box. I hadn't even put them out yet. So I, it was open, like, looked like somebody else had been in the box. So I'm like, give me two, give me two. And I ran. So uh, this one says Ruby Red. We're going to check it out. And that one says Clear. So let's look at this. It says Hydrating Lipstick. Lipstick. The, the word lipstick scares me now. I don't know why. Let's try it. I'm not going to try the clear, but there's what that looks like. It's real pretty. It's a real pretty little tube. Hold on. What the flip? Okay. This is a pretty tube, too. Look at that. I'm scared. It says red. Ooh, it's red. Ooh, it's red. Ooh, okay. Should I go in? I really like the lipstick I'm wearing now. I think I'm just going to swatch it for y'all, okay? We'll go right here beside that. All right, ready? Oh, well, that ain't nothing. That's just like a, a light shimmer. Okay, that's not red, red, red. They make it look like, boom, you're going to look like that, when in fact, boom, you're going to look like that. That's okay with me. It smells like a carburetor with a little bit of oil left in it. Yeah. So there you go. There you go on that. Mm, that packaging though, it's pretty. Okay. She's pretty. That's all I can say. Uh, last but not least, is that last but not least? Well, I'm going to show you that last thing. Um, I got this from one of the, oh, Yes. Um, this is botanicals, skin nutrition, botanicals, paraben and phthalate free vitamin C 1%. I don't know if that's good or horrible. I have no idea. 1% doesn't sound good, but maybe it's only supposed to be 1%. So I don't know. An indispensable nutrient for collagen production, a stable form of vitamin C blends into our advanced formula design to target, to reduce the appearance of most common signs of aging, dark spots, sunspots, and uneven skin tone. So boom, why not? Clinical formula for all skin types. Let's smell it. Let's feel it. Got our dropper. Ooh, I like a glass bottle with a glass dropper. If I don't like it, I can pour it down the sink and put my own stuff in here, right? I don't really get a gist of a smell. Let me put it on the back of this hand because I got a lot of stuff on the back of the other hand. Definitely a thicker. Okay, it's thick because look at it. It's not trying to roll down my hand. Like, yeah. Interesting. No smell. No smell whatsoever, which is interesting again. A little slime texture at first, like a lot of stuff are, especially serums. Like they got that slimy texture going. I don't know how I feel. It's okay. I don't know. It's like not going away. You know, maybe if I put it over my, my whole face or something like that, I would, but I don't know. It's different. Now it's getting sticky. -ish. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you guys know. I should do a let's talk trash video, but I hate to save trash. I got too much crap to save crap. You know what I'm saying? All right. Last, last, last item. I found these in the party section. These are party candles and they just look funky, kind of like me. So I'm like, I think I need these. I think I want these on my party cake next month when I turn 55. I think these would be great. They look like they're dancing, swaying to the music. So, yeah, I want these. And I also have another pack, different colors, somewhere. You'll be seeing them, I promise. So, but anyway, how cute are they? Like, dancing. Okay, that's all. 
that's it guys i'm gonna i'm not gonna drive you any crazier thank you for watching this huge haul this it hasn't been a huge one um before i go though let me just say if you are not subscribed to my channel and you like my content please hit that subscribe button right down here. Become part of the Gypsy family. Number two, make sure to let me know what your favorite item was. I have no clue. I love the books. I love these. Um, I love the planners. Like, I had a lot. So anyway, let me know what your favorite was also, or your couple of favorites. It's okay. Also, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Just thumb, just thumb it up right now. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And until next time, bye.